on somebody who is really experienced at it. And I'm still getting there with that. Charlie specializes at the moment in like evictions and stuff. So if that's something you want to talk to him about. He can... I'm pretty good at, yeah, I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty good at that. Oh, I'm what? about to ask you, if, if, wait, you say, you say you go around to like people houses and stuff, but how you get them to like. Oh, wait. One second, Leroy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're you're freezing up a little. Let's try again. I, you, you broke off, and how, how do you get them to? Oh no, he's frozen. I maybe wait, 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 he's moving again. He's alive. Wait, we still can't hear him. Oh, wait, no, you're muted now. I'll mute yourself, Leroy. Oh no, I muted you. <laughs> All right. All oh, right. you're good. You're good. Nobody touched anything. Wait. Wait, what happened again? I forgot. You, oh. Uh, oh, I was saying. Wait. Oh, if you, um, like, how you go around, how do you get people to understand that you really trying to, like, help instead of you know, cause like Trump say he was trying to help, but in reality, it really wasn't helping. Right, right, right. Um, well, you know, we looked at that because um, it, this would be a harder sell if if the guy who we're running against wasn't in office for twenty three years and wasn't like an old, you know an old white guy. You know, we have a little bit easier time telling people because I mean ultimately what Trump was doing was running against a feeling that the current system was bad, whether or not that was accurate entirely is a different story. But, you know, I think most people right now are like, we can convince them that the current situation with the court is bad and that we need them to change it. That's my philosophy at least. So if somebody, say if somebody like they interested in being an advocate too, like they want to be a lawyer, what could what advice you could give them? I would say, man, go to go to um get your undergrad degree, do the best that you can, and I would say start writing things, start writing, working on advocacy right now. Like I know y'all have some kind of assignment like that, and um, learn how to be very persuasive in your arguments and then when you go to you know study as hard as you can and sometimes it's a lot of work and you, you don't get to do everything that you want to do all the time but you know I'm, I'm cool I'm popular I didn't lose my whole life going to law school so you know you can do it all if you work hard and then Jaleel had a question no Okay. Somebody had a dog. I think Trey had a dog somewhere. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> well, if y'all don't have any more questions. <laughs> how much it pay? How much like how much the uh, job pay like? Which kind of job? Like the lawyer job. Um, it depends, man. Like, uh, this is independent contractor work. So I'm just getting paid by the month right now. But, uh, I don't know. I'm interviewing for a job at four that has a salary of, I think like 50,000 or something like that. So that'd be, that'd be kind of lit if I got that. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you all in political office, in the courts, in like just local politics also. Like I really, really think that your generation cares about things and yeah, really just makes such a big difference. And you guys are almost like adults under the law, which means like now is the time, right? It's so exciting. Um, so apply for that internship. If you're interested in this kind of thing, right? Like 
really, really reach out to me. I'm going to put it in the chat one more time and you are free to go to lunch. Your day is almost over. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs> Wheel, I think you would be an amazing lawyer. I really, really do. I really, really do. I yeah. do. Oh boy, I do not want that boy fighting for me. That is not true. That boy, not true. Come <laughs> on, support your friend. <laughs> oh, I can't be no lawyer. <laughs> boy, gonna have a nigga under under. Oh, boy, I got you. Yeah, for fifty years. He said he got. He said he's got you. I got you. Bro. Watch, Seth, this conversation is going to be the reason he becomes a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. I got you on, bro. <laughs> I All got right. you. That's your slogan. Like, what's his name um, on the billboards? It has uh, not Juan Lafonta, the other guy. He's at Holler at Your People. Holler at Your People, and it says Black Lives Matter at the bottom. Oh, do you put that on there? Did. I was like, way to co-opt a movement, dude. But whatever. Like, he's a black guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. No, I mean, my friend just hung out with Juan Lafonta. Actually, you know Adriana, my friend. Yes. Does it? Does she work at, at Tito's Peruvian? Yeah, what? that's where she met Juan Lafonta, and he's actually like a weird spiritual guru guy now. It's really weird. weird. He waited on me the other day, and I was too weirded out to say anything. Oh damn! It's, you made it weird then. I, it's weird and also why does a person with an eating disorder work at a fucking <laughs> restaurant she doesn't have an eating disorder yeah she does didn't she go to that meeting with us no she doesn't have an eating disorder oh well anyway <laughs> no, no no she would go 